Hey everybody, this is Mr. Jordan, and uh, this geometry lesson is on the angle bisectors of triangles. All right, let's go ahead and begin. You guys saw some theorems. Uh, if a point is on an angle, uh, or is on a bisector of an angle, so here's a picture of that. Okay, so here's my purple point on this bisector, okay, this bisector of this blue angle right here. So that means this angle equals this angle if it's bisecting in it. So if a point's on that angle bisector, then it's equidistant to the sides of the angle. So the distance to that side is going to equal the distance to that side. All right, and the distance is this perpendicular segment where the right angle forms right there. So that little distance right there equals that little distance. Okay, that's what that theorem says. All right, and this is vice versa. If it's equidistant, if a point's inside of here and it's equidistant to the sides of the angle, then it must be on the angle bisector. That's what that guy says right there. All right, so let's find the value of x right here. Okay, so these two 27s tells me that this is the angle bisector, so that means this x and 15 are the same, so x equals 15. See, it's that easy. Okay, are they all that easy? Nah, no, but pretty darn close. All right, now, these segments right here tells me that they're equidistant to the sides right there, so that means that this must be the angle bisector right here. So that means uh, 4x minus 6 equals 3x plus 5. So you set those guys equal and you get x equals 11. Okay, this guy right here, this tells me, these little arcs down here, tells me that that's the angle bisector. So that means that uh, this distance right here, 6x minus 5, equals this distance right here. All right, see, I told you, it's pretty easy. All right, so the point of concurrency, remember concurrency, concurrency means they all intersect in the same spot. So the angle bisectors all intersect in the same spot, and that point of concurrency, which is called the in-center, is equidistant to the sides of the triangle. Okay, so if this is the in-center, because this is the angle bisector right here, and this is an angle bisector right here, and then this guy right here is an angle bisector, they intersect right there at P, P would be the in-center, and that means that distance equals that distance equals that distance right there. That's what this says. It's equidistant to the sides of the triangle. The in-center uh, that's formed from the angle bisectors is equal to the, it, it's equidistant to the sides. So point D is the in center of the triangle. Find the value of X. Okay? This one's easy, you guys. If point D is the in center right there, then this distance equals this distance equals this distance 5. X equals 5. Okay? That 13 is there to distract you. All right? Okay, how about this one right here? Okay, now notice they're all the blue segments. I hope you can see it. They're all the blue segments. All the blue segments are equal. So this x equals whatever this length is equals whatever this length is right here. I don't know any of those. So what I'm going to do is focus on this right triangle right here and use a little bit of Pythagorean theorem. Okay, I'm going to call this little length uh, y right there. So um, y squared plus 20 squared equals this 25 squared. This is 400. This is 625. 625 minus 400 is 225, and the square root of that's 15. So x is equal to y has to be equal to 15 right there. All right, nice and easy. Good job.